Hey, how's it going? Uh, today is Tuesday. Uh, we have covered a number of infrastructure projects, uh, physical projects. Of course, we might be worth taking a look at software projects, right? And uh, another way of uh, how infrastructure can uh, uh, potentially be developed. Uh, within this video, I'm going to be taking a look at AI uh, funding and uh, or, uh, organizations that can receive funding uh, within the UK. Uh, very briefly, there would be 1,000, uh, uh, 100,000 pounds that would uh, 10 uh, companies receive that would uh, prepare a great project when it comes to AI systems within the UK. Uh, this uh, opportunity is live and uh, it was launched last week and it's currently live and it would be available on closing date at the uh, 1st of February. The uh, name of the uh, fund would be Manchester Prize. The Manchester Prize is challenge prize for AI for public good. Throughout within the UK government will award 1 million annually to uh, in prize for AI and research and development. In the first round of the Manchester Prize, uh, participants will complete to develop the most innovative and impactful AI solutions, which demonstrates social benefit by overcoming challenges in the fields of energy, environmental and infrastructure, as well as uh, the first round of Manchester Prize will take place in the two phases. The, in the entrant phase, uh, participants are being asked to submit their proposals for AI applications which solve uh, challenges statements to win for uh, £100,000 seed funding, right? So, the early stage, right? Uh, where you potentially would work on development of the concept from there, progress into the finalized phase. Winners of the an entrant phase will develop their proposals further to complete the, for a grand prize of uh, one million pounds. So it's a lot of money. How many people can you hire with that? <laughs> How many people can you hire uh, for five uh, years? Can you hire a team of uh, five, ten people? Oh, great. <laughs> I guess it's a lot of money then. And uh, how fast would you be able to start benefiting or earning money from the products or services that you are able to offer for years or so to develop the idea? Would that be enough to cover all the expenses about four years? So after four years, ideally, you would like to start bringing money or start earning some money, right? <laughs> so that would be a potential way how uh, many people can look at this uh, if it's something that you are interested in. Briefly, let's start with summary of the project, right? And uh, perhaps entry level where everyone would need to enter. Competition, overview, and timeline. By the way, I, I never knew that's even an option that the government offers this kind of uh, opportunities out there. There are so many different opportunities. Myself, I would be reading some of those opportunities all the time. I thought might as well share it with others. If there's a talented group of people who can deliver some of those projects, or perhaps if not, they are interested. Okay, that's a starting block. If they are interested, perhaps they need some skills improvement, something. If you are looking to start or perhaps you're looking to collaborate, feel free to chat to me, see what we can do together. If you're not perhaps at the point where you can uh, take on some of those projects themselves, you can, we can start slower and progress on that, right? At the time, I never knew that even available on the table, there are some options that there, and I'm looking to cover those in uh, a number of videos, right? Uh, challenges, price, a uh, unique approach to funding innovation, offering series of incentives with uh, participants competing in developing the best and most effective solutions to challenge. They are public open competitions which lower barriers to entry to attract a broader uh, possible community of innovators. So uh, I cannot highlight enough how important there might be some of those projects out there, right? And perhaps uh, increase uh, uh, engagement, right? It's something I'm looking at accomplished with some of those videos. Something that I've done myself, I'm looking to cover in more detail. Uh, the first round of Manchester Prize will be delivered in two phases. Uh, in the enter phase, funding of uh, £1,000 will be awarded of to up to 10 finalist teams. Those proposed identify a clear solution to a challenge statement. See below and uh, show the greatest potential to evolve into a valuable intervention with the time frame set. So uh, let's start with the uh, beginning, right? So that will be entry level. 
uh, best way to approach such a project and uh, perhaps I can briefly cover that kind of area. Perhaps uh, if uh, down the line you're interested in sourcing finance and all the different opportunities, subscribing to some of those services, perhaps that's a starting point from there, progressing to reaching out to this organization and ask for opportunities down and speak with them usually. Uh, not necessarily this fund or other funds, they would offer webinars, right? With this fund, they have uh, set dates for some of those webinars, right? Uh, one uh, on 13 of December, that will be tomorrow uh, from 9 to 10, where they would potentially host a number of companies and they would uh, outline solutions, right? So if there's a government institution and those government institutions already have a problem, right? And they're looking for contractors, who can uh, they would contract to solve that problem for that institution right so potentially you can have one customer already right and that customer will pay you to solve this problem for this government institution if that makes sense so that's how you, you can start with one and you can develop your product services from there but it depends on the contract and be careful up there in particular it's not if it's not something that you have done in the past and it can steer some of those contractual agreements and or signing any paperwork you might want to consult with a professional uh barriers for entry since we're talking about software projects sometimes there might be a lot of barriers how many companies can uh, enter uh, some of those projects uh, i don't know the past it's something that happened in the past right they're asking to provide a lot of information, a lot of things that you might need to would give it to them. They will ask a lot of things. Usually it's a little complex, right? So I don't know about this project. Uh, so far on the application form, they would ask about for only for three things, right? <laughs> but again, it depends, right? Uh, so it would be the structure of the company, or perhaps if you might be working as an individual, I would highly recommend considering starting or setting up a company. But again, it depends on well, your personal circumstances is that's optimal decision for you but it would be more optimal to have a company in particular and we're talking about a large scale project right and you would need a group of people working together as well was there might be reasons why it might be better to have a company but either it, this uh, competition is even open for individuals which, which is kind of great and for all structures of the company <laughs> well that's number one number two uh, perhaps there might be a number of companies not necessarily limited just to one company right and all the Number three, that would be the, that's my own brief overview, right? <laughs> Perhaps we're taking a look at this competition in more detail, right? But uh, that would be your company would need to be based within UK, right? And all the funds need to be uh, sent to UK's bank account, right? So there's some of those things are worth mentioning, right? So that would be a, uh, so perhaps they look into increased number of companies who would submit your uh, submit projects to you or solve the ways how they would solve some of those opportunities since uh, they're looking to for 10 companies, usually serious people. <laughs> I don't know. They would say they would receive hundreds. I don't know if that's true. Perhaps 50 companies <laughs> would engage with them, right? <laughs> uh, briefly, right? The Manchester Prize aims to accelerate the showcase cutting edge AI innovation and public goods, uh, good and a faster uh, community of world leading AI research in the UK. So there would be government institutions that would look to solve some of the problem for a number of individuals. So perhaps they would uh, perhaps purchase the entire project from you, but it depends on the structure of the contract. I haven't read it. So since I haven't read it, I can perhaps bring your attention to some of the points that might be some of the projects that you might need to build, You they might take over your project, right? <laughs> You'll see where it sells. Some of those, some of those government institutions tell you how they would structure some of those contracts, right? So, it's kind of good, it's kind of bad, it depends, right? So they, we talk about uh, 1,000, uh, uh, no, it's 100,000 pounds, right? So they, I guess if you're looking to sell something, products or services that might be worth of uh, time or investment if it's something you can do very fast, very quick, right? I guess well, with uh, not necessarily a long uh, investment, which, but again, it depends, right? So uh, a lot of people might come into some of those projects thinking about that they would build for the next 20 years, right? Some of those projects, not necessary. <laughs> so sometimes you can do that for 20 years. So sometimes some of those institutions will structure projects in a way where not necessarily that would be an optimal way of doing business, right? So that's just the way things are.
yourself if you're interested in learning more how to publish the board game strategy. Within this book I'm sharing a lot of information for many people out there who are interested in uh, understanding a little bit better all the concepts when it comes to business. I'm looking to outline those concepts and bring everyone's understanding when it comes to doing business, how to do it and or perhaps how to understand better how things can be done. Most of the people perhaps would know some of those things uh, or depending on your level where you are, I would start every chapter so making things very easy and simple and I would progress and make it more difficult and complex. Some of those things are very easy for me to understand but I'm looking to bring everyone's understanding up to the level, right? <laughs> so that's the way how I'm looking, perhaps if it's some, something new, some, some uh, stay at home mom, anything, I'm looking to support everyone if I can uh, when it comes to understanding the business, right? And, uh, uh, do not leave any uh, man or woman behind. <laughs> you can find it in Kiaco and Corner and Company's website below. It might be a great opportunity uh, for many people out there if you're just starting, if you're looking where to begin, where to start. Uh, there might be some uh, projects like that or similar ones up there, right? Uh, I was walking by this project, so I thought I might as well share with the people who haven't noticed and when it comes to engagement, I've, um, myself, I'm looking at increased engagement and uh, if uh, there are some people who are interested in some of those opportunities, there might be many up there. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next one.